you today, I'm going to show you how to make some tortillas with this great value mezcla para tortillas de harina flour mix that I recently found at Walmart. And it makes making tortillas much easier, super easy. Don't have to look for all the ingredients. The easy to follow instructions are on the back of the bag. They're written in both English and Spanish. And today I'm going to show you just how easy they are to follow. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and get your hot plate warmed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up to a medium high, like five or six. The temperatures need to get to 400, 450, so you definitely wanna start with warming that up. Um, you can use a griddle, a hot plate. I actually have tried even a, a cast iron skillet. So whatever you have that works for you is great. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and make our dough and all we need as two cups of the flour mix. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. And then we need a half a cup of hot water. Go ahead and pour that in. And then we're gonna go ahead and start mixing this up. Now, I use um, gloves because I don't like getting it underneath my fingernails, but you really want to stick with this for five minutes. So I'm actually going to use my timer here and flip that over five minutes because I start getting tired before then and want to give up. But it's really important that you stick with this for five minutes. A little bit sticky in the beginning, and as you continue to knead the dough, it'll get... Um, less sticky and it's really important that you do this so that you have the elasticity that you need um, to make really good tortillas so keep it up i know five minutes is a long time but just keep on going you can see i'm just kind of going around the bowl and pushing in and it's kind of picking up anything that's along the sides of the bowl and i won't make you watch for five minutes but just know that i am sticking with it all right, so I've hung in there for the almost five minutes now, and I can see that the dough is getting really smooth. It's really how I want it to be. Um, cleaned up all the extras around the sides. So if you find that your dough is still too sticky, you can add a little bit more flour to it. I mean, before this point, but you can add flour to it. You can see it's really nice here. This is how I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up with a wet towel and let it sit for 15 minutes. All right, so my dough has been sitting for 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the bowl. Let's look at this. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and I'm gonna kind of form like a little log shape. And the reason for that is, is I'm gonna tear, uh, tear off little pieces of this. I need to get eight pieces and then I'm gonna just roll them into a little ball. Now, the this was really surprising when I first made this recipe because I thought they were super small, but I wanted to get eight pieces out of it. They may not come out exactly the same size. So if you find after you've done your eight pieces that some pieces are a little bigger than the others, then you can pull some of the dough off of one and, and add it to the other as you need it. But your goal is to get eight pieces. All right, looks like, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna make it. Uh, a couple of these last two are a little bit small, but like I said, I can pull from some of the others. All right, so I'm gonna check on my um, hot plate and make sure that's hot enough. I'm using my Taylor thermometer so that I can kind of test. Like I said, this needs to be, or supposed to be, from 400 to 450, but it takes a long time to get these temperatures up. So yeah, right now it's still still going. And I think that, I probably should have had this a little hotter. I'll turn it up now, but I'm already at 365, so I think that is good enough. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So one thing I've never been good at is rolling out the tortillas. So this rolling pin, I gave up from the beginning. Didn't even wanna invest the time. What I did do is I found a hot plate. This one is a Revel um, tortilla maker, and it probably runs about $50. I bought mine years ago, so I'm not really sure what they run now. But yeah, this is just, I roll the um, ball out, flatten it a little bit, and then I go ahead and put it in the tortilla maker. It's really supposed to make them all the way, but I don't like the way it comes out on here, so I just use it to flatten them out, press it down, and then you might have to open up and turn it a little bit to make them a little bit rounder, and then it's ready to go onto the hot plate. So yeah, love the way they come out. But I'm not done yet, so now I'm gonna go ahead and 
plate, place it on the hot plate and you can see as soon as it hits that hot plate, it's gonna start smoking, so make sure you have a vent on. And then you're also gonna notice that it's going to start um, kind of bubbling. If you can see right here, there's a little bit bubble. So I wanna hurry up and turn this over. Probably waited too long. Yep, a little bit too long. Um, the first one's always just kind of a test, but then yeah, once that's ready to go, you can just see, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and try that again. All right, we have another one. Go ahead and put that on there. Um, watch for the bubbling. Don't let it sit too long. Go ahead and flip it over. Okay, a little better. And let that cook. And this is really just toasting them. You know, you want that brown. That's what makes them just, I don't know, taste more authentic. So yeah, and just keep on going with those eight tortillas, which doesn't seem like a lot. Um, so, you know, if you were doing this for your family, you'd probably need to make at least two batches if you're gonna go through them quickly. I just don't eat them like I used to eat them. So this one batch is just nice to have. It's They're freshly made and warm and I love them. So here we go with another one. And again, just keep on until you've made all of them. Flip it over and perfect. All right, so that's the whole batch. Came out super yummy, really worth the money. Uh, I just love the taste. They're better than store-bought tortillas. And if you buy the bag, it's $4 for the whole bag and makes 49 of them, um, 150 calories each. Or if you buy a bag of tortillas at the store, the minimum is $2 a bag. So definitely a money saver, super yummy and fun to make. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.